welcome to the coding channel. Today is the 16th episode of our Java tutorial series for beginners. And in this episode, we are going to talk about how to trace switch case statements in Java. And these and more when we come back. to the coding channel now let's start tracing the uh, switch case uh, statements we will start from line number five we have a variable declarations in int first variable and then second variable is equal to one so you have to initialize the second variable to one and then after that the second statement in uh, line number six we have an assignment statement of a, a ternary operator so we have a condition here uh, if second variable is greater than 1, so in this case, the value of second variable is 1. So 1 is not greater than 1. So uh, therefore, we will um, assign the 1, which is after the colon, because um, that's how the uh, ternary operator works. So we have the condition after the question mark. So the 2 here would be the value, supposed to be the value of first variable if the condition is true. If the condition is false, so we will assign one to the variable. So in this case, since the our condition is a uh, false, so we will assign one to the first variable. So that's how it works. And then uh, let's proceed to the uh, switch um, statement. So first we have switch first variable. So the value of first variable is one. So meaning switch one. So we will find here the case one. So uh, case 1 is in line number 11, so we will uh, execute this uh, statement. So case 1 is equal, uh, I mean, uh, we have an output statement here, system.out.print. So we have a first output, which is uh, 1. And then since uh, we don't have any break uh, statements here after the case 1, so we will uh, continue to uh, execute the uh, next uh, case which is um, case three, okay? So this the case three is the nearest uh, after the case one. So we will uh, continue to um, execute this. And we will uh, display also the uh, number uh, three, okay? Besides um, one. So we, we now have a one and then a three. And then again, uh, since we don't have any break uh, statement here, so we will continue again in case two, okay? And then the display the out output we have now two and then that's the uh, first time that we encounter the break so uh, we will now exit the uh, switch uh, case so that's how we uh, trace the um, uh, switch uh, case um, the statements so we have the uh, one three two so let's try to uh, compare the uh, our answer to the uh, output so we now have one three two and then our output is one three two okay so let us try to ha have another example now, but this time the uh, cases uh, are in uh, characters. Okay, the, the case values are uh, characters. So we'll start from um, line number five. So we have the variable declaration and, and initialization. R C H is equal to A. So we will assign um, lowercase a to a CH and then switch uh, CH, which is A. So case A and a case uppercase A, and then uh, lowercase a, so meaning to say either of the two. So since we don't have any break statements here, so we'll continue to case a, and then we encounter the first output statement. So we'll print the uh, value of ch, which is a. So we have now a. Now, in this case, uh, again, we don't have any uh, break statements here. So we will um, proceed to another case. So we have now case B and uh, we don't have any output statements here or any break statements. So we will continue to case B, uppercase B. And then now we have an, uh, an output statement again, CH. So what's the value of CH? It's still A. So we will uh, print again, CH there. And again, no more break statements there. So we will continue to uh, case uh, lowercase C and then case um, uppercase C. And then we have an, another output statement displaying the what? The value of CH, which is A. And then that's the only time that we encounter break. So we will uh, go out of this, um, or break out 
from this uh, switch gay okay, statement. So our final output is A, A, A. So let's try to compare our output. If you're going to run, the output is A, A, A. Okay. So that's how uh, simple it is to uh, trace again the uh, a switch a case. Okay, so let's try to trace another example. This time uh, we have a case, uh, integer case values. Okay, so we will start um, from line number four. We have another uh, variable declaration with initialization. We have int i is equal to two. So you just have to type that two there. And then j, another ternary operator is i which is 2 uh, greater than or equal to 1 is 2 greater than or equal to 1 true so therefore the value of j is 0 since the condition is uh, true okay so we have a 0 and then a switch i which i what's the value of i 2 so we will proceed to case 2 and then we have an assignment statement j is equal to j plus 6 so 0 plus 6 is 6. Okay. And then, again, we don't have any break um, statement here. So we will proceed to case 4, the nearest uh, case. So case 4, we have uh, another assignment statement, j plus equals 1. So this one, this operator plus equals is um, same as j is equal to j plus 1. Okay. Just to give you an idea. So meaning, uh, the uh, previous value of j, so we have... Uh, 6, right? So 6 is equals to 6 plus 1. So the uh, value of j now after case 4 is 7. Okay? And then again, we don't have any break statement here. So we will um, continue. Okay? And then this time around, we have the default. That's the nearest uh, case, right? The default. And then we have the j plus equals 2. Okay? So j meaning j is equal to j plus 2. So 7 plus 2, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so the uh, value now of j is 9. And then again, um, we don't have any break statements. So we will proceed to another case, which is in this case, the last case. We have case 0. And then j is equal to j plus 4. So we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have um, 13 now as the value of our j. And then that's the first time that we encounter the break. So it's about time to uh, get out, okay, break out from this switch. and then. Proceed to line number 13 to display the output. So we have now j is equal to j. So our output is j equals the value of j, the final value of j, which is 13. Okay, so if we're going to check if our answer is correct, our final output is j equals 13. So let's try if we're going to run the output is j equals 13. Okay, that's it. Now, let's try another example. But before that, let's uh, try to analyze this one first. So we have here a, um, a cases inside of our switch. So we have case 1, case 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, and then 12. And then uh, the, the this is the first time after the case 12 that we encounter the break statement and also the assignment statement. So it only means that uh, for input uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, Okay, the value of x is 31. And then for inputs of 4, 6, 9, 11, the value of x is 30. And then, and then break. If the input is 2, so that's the only time that uh, we uh, go to a case 2 and then execute uh, this um, statement inside of the case 2. Okay, so that's how it uh, works. But let's try uh, to uh, start from line number 5. So we are um, asked to uh, what, enter a number, okay? So for example, the um, input is 8, okay? So if the input is 8, so the value of user input now is 8 using the scan that ne uh, next in. And then we have y, we have 20, 21, and uh, x there is 0. Okay, so switch user input. So what's the value of our user input? It's 8. So we will uh, find the uh, 8, which is case 8 here. And then we have now x is equal to 31. So the um, value of x is 31. And then break. So we're done. After that, we uh, break out of the uh, switch and then display the output. So the output is output equals 31. Okay, so if we are going to run this, uh, let's try, and then, if I'm to run, 
And then the, for example, 8, so the output is 31. So that's uh, how simple it is. And then uh, let's try another um, example. Uh, for example, uh, if what if the input is, um, for example, either 4, 6, 9, 11, and, 30, and 11, so the, um, the output is actually 30. Okay, so uh, if you have noticed that this program will ask you a number, okay, that number is actually the number of months. So if you enter 8, so that's, that is um, August, for example, and then uh, if the uh, value of y here is 2021, so meaning August of 2021, so this program uh, finds or tells us the, um, the number of uh, days uh, in that particular month. So for instance, if it's August 2021, so the um, um, number of days for that month is 31. So for example, for April, uh, June, okay, and November, uh, the, the um, number of days is 30. Now, uh, the only difference here is that for if, uh, for example, this program also determine if that uh, year is also a, is a leap year, leap year or uh, or not, uh, because uh, Feb um, the uh, number of days can uh, it could be twenty nine or twenty eight, right? So let's try. Okay, for example, uh, if our input is uh, two, okay, and then uh, our year is twenty twenty one, okay, and then we have x equal to zero. Okay, let's try. Uh, switch uh, user input so case uh, 2 so we'll proceed to case 2 here then we have an if statement okay as you can see there there is uh, a logical operator here okay and then the or and then the not okay so let's try if we're going to uh, divide uh, y divided by 4 since we use a person sign here so we're talking of the remainder so if you divide 2021 to 4 uh, the remainder is, of course, not equal to zero. So therefore, this condition is uh, false. Okay. And since we have used the logical uh, operator end here, okay, for for this is um expression, for example, for this two condition to be true, uh, the first and second condition uh is should be true. Okay. True plus true, true and true, so the result is true. Otherwise, the result is false, right? So even if this condition is true, but this one is already false, so the, if we're going to compare this one the, using logical operator, the result of these two conditions uh, is uh, false. Okay, and then we have or. So, so with or, at least one true, the answer is uh, true. So we have now, th this condition now is uh, false. So let's try to compare. Is y uh, mod modulo 400 is equal to zero? 2021 modulo 400, the answer is uh, uh, false. So therefore, false, and false or false is uh, false. So the value of x is 28. Okay, so that's it. The, our output is 28. So, meaning to say that if you have entered 8 and then 2020, I mean 2, 2021, so Feb 2021, the number of days are 28. Okay? So, that's uh, how this uh, program uh, works. Okay, so these are the source code and for that's this. All for today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.